Kawasaki Heavy Industries is gearing up to test launch its new anti-ship missile, known as the new SSM surface-to-surface -surface missile, during the 2027 fiscal year. This announcement, made by a company representative on October 17, 2024, at the International Aerospace Exhibition in Tokyo, showcases Japan's commitment to advancing its defense technology. The new missile promises to enhance the nation's ability to respond to regional threats, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region. The new SSM is a long-range subsonic cruise missile that is designed to strike targets from a safe distance, beyond the range of enemy defense systems. Powered by a compact and fuel-efficient turbofan engine, this missile features wings for horizontal flight, giving it an aircraft-like appearance. Due to its similar range, shape, and capabilities, it has been referred to as the Japanese Tomahawk, drawing comparisons to the U.S. Tomahawk cruise missile. Unlike supersonic missiles, the new SSM flies at subsonic speeds, nearing the sound barrier, making it a highly stealthy weapon. Its subsonic nature not only aids in reducing the missile's radar visibility, but also makes it an efficient tool for long-range precision strikes. Its long-range capabilities, potentially extending up to 2,500 kilometers, position it as a critical asset for Japan, allowing it to target strategic locations deep within China from its western regions. Kawasaki Heavy Industries, alongside Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, has been at the forefront of Japan's missile development efforts. The new missile is seen as a significant upgrade over previous systems like the 12 SSM cruise missile, which was introduced in 2012. According to a representative from Japan's Ministry of Defense, the new SSM boasts an extended range and enhanced precision, making it a more effective tool for defending Japan's territorial waters and projecting power beyond its immediate vicinity. A key feature of the missile is the KJ-300 turbofan engine, specifically developed by Kawasaki. This engine is compact, measuring 950 mm in length and weighing 90 kg, and provides 365 kgf of thrust through a twin-shaft configuration. The KJ-300 is designed to optimize fuel efficiency while maintaining high performance, allowing the missile to travel long distances while conserving fuel. Another notable aspect of the missile is its low radar cross-section, RCS, which enhances its survivability in contested environments. The missile's maneuverability is also a key strength, allowing it to adapt to changing battlefield conditions and evade interception by enemy defense systems. The new SSM can be launched from various platforms, including land-based vehicles, naval ships, and aircraft, offering unparalleled flexibility in its deployment. In addition to the new SSM, Japan's Ministry of Defense has initiated another missile development project. This program focuses on enhancing the precision and long-range capabilities of Japan's anti-ship and surface-to-surface -surface missile systems. Expected to become operational by 2027, this new missile will work in tandem with the new SSM, further bolstering Japan's ability to project power and defend against regional threats. The simultaneous development of these two systems highlights Japan's strategic approach to its defense capabilities. By investing in long-range precision strike systems, Japan aims to secure its maritime borders and enhance its deterrent capabilities against potential aggressors, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region, where security concerns are increasingly prominent. Kawasaki Heavy Industries, new SSM, represents a major leap forward in Japan's defense capabilities. With its long-range precision strike capability, low radar visibility, and flexible deployment options, the missile will significantly enhance Japan's ability to respond to threats in the region. As Japan continues to invest in advanced missile technologies, the new SSM serves as a testament to the country's growing military capabilities and its commitment to safeguarding its national interests in an increasingly uncertain geopolitical landscape.